Good morning, and welcome to BOSC 2019. So it turns out there's more than one BOSC, so I want to make sure everyone's at the right one. If you were here for the best Ontario sommelier competition, <laughs> you're out of luck. Uh, similarly, if you were looking for the Bombay Operative Spine course, not here either. But if you're here for the 20th Annual Bioinformatics Open Source Conference, you have come to the right place. Thank you. <laughs> so before I get started, um, I just want to say that your health and safety are paramount importance to us. It's really hot out there, and recent research has found that rising carbon dioxide levels in conference rooms can actually impair people's cognitive functioning. So if you need to take a break, <clears throat> please feel free to leave the room at any time. In some of the longer sessions, we've actually added mini breaks in the middle, but this morning session, we're going straight through, so take a break if you need it. Uh, as part of the ISMB, we are under the code of conduct uh, that they've put together. I've made a short URL for that. You can find it at bit.ly slash ISMB dash COC, and also from the ISMB website. Um, and if you experience or witness any harassment, please find one of the people that has the ISCB Ally ribbon on their badge. Um, the colors of those may vary because they have made them in a, a rainbow spectrum, so they may not all be sort of turquoise like shown here. So you can approach one of those people in person. You can email safeiscb at iscb.org. And of course, if you feel unsafe at any time, please use a phone in the conference center to call for security. So we have a great schedule in store for you today and tomorrow. Um, you can find it all on our website as well as on the ISMB app. We have 46 talks and 55 posters. And I'd just like to give you a few highlights of what's coming up. Um, so this morning, after my opening remarks, we'll have a brief introduction to the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, which is the parent organization of BOSC, and we'll also have a report on OBF's participation in the Google Summer of Code 2018. Uh, we then have a, a full morning of talks about various aspects of data, and we will break a few minutes early for lunch so that you guys have time to buy lunch before the Birds of a Feather session that start at 1245, including one that will be a welcome to BOSC uh, for whether you're here for the first time or the 20th, um, we want everyone to feel welcome. We'll talk more about that just before lunch. And then right after lunch, we have our keynote speaker, uh, Nikki Mulder. Don't miss that at 2 p.m. Uh, and we have afternoon talks. And then after the coffee break, we actually decided to devote one of our sessions to more birds of a feather. Um, we feel that these informal, self-organized meetups are a really great way for attendees to meet other people who share their interests or maybe learn some new interests, form collaborations. There have been some great projects that came out of Birds of a Feather and at previous BOSCs. So don't miss those. Uh, at the end of the day, there's a poster session. There's only one poster session, uh, so be sure to, to stop by between 6 and 8 p.m. There's also a party sponsored by Giga Science offsite that everyone is invited to. Um, that's this evening. Some highlights of tomorrow. We start the day tomorrow with our late-breaking lightning talks. This is a very popular session for people to find out the very latest research that people in the community are doing. Um, we have morning talks and then again, uh, birds of a feather tomorrow at lunchtime, including an OBF public board meeting organized as a birds of a feather tomorrow. And at the end of the day tomorrow, there's an optional dinner for people who are attending BOSC. The 30 reserved seats are already full, but it's at the, the market hall, which is quite large. And so everyone is welcome to show up, get their own table, and come over and say hi to us. So a few logistics about giving talks. Um, we would like all the speakers to copy their slides onto the podium computer during the break before their session. I think we already have this morning's talk, so if you're speaking later, come and, and copy them. And be sure to stay near the microphone when, when speaking. Apparently, at some of the other sessions, speakers have wandered away from the mic and that ruined the audio recording. Speaking of which, I want to tell everyone the good news that they're not videoing our faces as 
we talk. They're videoing our slides and they're recording the audio. So I hope that will be a relief to some of you. Um, uh, but, you know, stay near the mic. The longer talks this year are 17 minutes with three minutes after them for Q&A, and the lightning talks are five minutes each, and rather than have short Q&A after each of them, what we've done is group them together. Usually there'll be three lightning talks and then five minutes for Q&A for those three speakers. So speaking of Q&A, um, we have the, the traditional method. Um, you can raise your hand. We have a, a mic over here. Um, we would like audience members who want to ask a question to actually go to that mic so that everyone can hear them and it can get recorded on the audio. We're also trying a new method, something called Slido. This was um, recommended by Monica Munoz-Torres, one of our organizing committee members who used it at another conference and found it worked really well. It's really easy. You do not need to sign up. You don't don't need to sign in, you, need, you don't need to give any personal details, just go to sli.do and then enter the event code BOSS2019. You can see what questions other people ask, so you can avoid redundancy and ask your own question, and you can choose whether to put in your name or remain anonymous. Okay, now that I've finished some of the uh, logistical details, um, I want to say that we're so excited that this is the 20th annual BOSC. Um, and I have not been to all 20 of them. I've been to 13, and I'm wondering if there's anyone out there who's been to more than 13, if you could stand up so that we can recognize you. Wow, all right. <laughs> Thanks, and I'd also like a show of hands. How many of you are here for your very first BOSC? All right, welcome. So glad to have you here. Um, the first BOSC took place in uh, 2000 in San Diego. It was a satellite of the ISMB 2000 there. And the keynote speakers were Tim O'Reilly and Lincoln Stein. There were 14 talks at that first BOSC. And it, uh, the meeting arose out of uh, the BioPearl community, which was having its own meetings and decided that they would have one that would extend to other what they were called BioStar projects, such as BioJava and BioPython. Many of these are still thriving today. And uh, it was interesting for me to look at the program from BOSS 2000, and, and uh, there were a lot of familiar names there. And people have gone different directions. So we had um, Ewan Bernie, who uh, recently was granted CBE, one, one step below being knighted. Um, but you know, another person who was part of the first BOSC is now an artist, and another person is now an organic pig farmer. I'm not making this up. <laughs> So the 20 BOSS have taken place in 12 countries, six U.S. states, two Canadian provinces. Uh, we've had 35 keynote talks, only two of which were two-time repeats. There was Ewan Bernie and Carol Goebel, both gave two. Um, we've had nine chairs and co-chairs, dozens of organizers, hundreds of reviewers. And uh, all of, you can find out more about all the previous BOSCs on our website. Here's a, there, I put up this, this table is on our website, I'm not going to read through it, but there are a few question marks from sketchy record keeping in early years, so if you could help us fill in any of those, let us know. And finally, before I step down and uh, turn the mic over to Heather to talk about OBF, I want to thank all the people who made BOSC possible. It would not be possible without all of these people. The organizing committee, um, all of whom are here except uh, Chris Fields, who wasn't able to come, and the reviewers who did a great job reviewing all the abstracts, going really deep, looking at the software, trying to build it, giving really constructive criticism. So thank you to all of those people. And I'd also like to thank our sponsors who helped to subsidize some of our meeting expenses and allow us to uh, grant more travel fellowships. Um, most of them are here, visit their booths, pick up their some swag by the, the back door. Um, so thank you again to all of our sponsors. And with that, I am gonna hand the uh, mic over to Heather Wensko of OBF. Thanks. <laughs> 